Welcome back to my um, podcast. So a couple days ago on social media, there were a number of concerning videos posted about a weird situation in Harvey, Illinois. Harvey, Illinois is in the south suburbs of Chicago. It is um, is a low income community, and it's it's a little rough in Harvey, Illinois. Um, I used to go through Harvey, Illinois when I would take the bus from the city out to Chicago Heights, and then go out to my mom's house. And I also lived in um, Salt Village at one point, so I used to pass through Harvey all the time. Um, so apparently an apartment complex, um, deemed their property uninhabitable. Um, but instead of doing the right thing, these people boarded up the entire apartment complex. So just imagine this, you're elderly or you're bed bound and you cannot get out of this apartment. And one day you wake up and literally the door where you used to open to get out is now boarded up and you're trapped inside your apartment. When I first start seeing these uh, videos pop up, I, I'm thinking to myself, you gotta be kidding. Like I literally did not think that this is actually happening. That I said, why would they do this? So, um, and the only reason why I knew about this is because some, I guess, um, social organizations or concerned citizens in that area saw that it was boarded up. And then as they went up, um, I guess they knew some people that live in the property and these people were like concerned because they can't get out of their apartment. I believe uh, the sheriff's office, uh, Thomas Dart, whoever was, was, um, actually reached out to and then finally it hit the news a couple days ago but this has been trending on social media for over a week now i don't know whose bright idea it was to literally physically put board up a place without verifying that everybody had left i guess this property is so bad that people actually left but you need to make sure that everybody has left before you board up the whole thing. They interviewed some woman who has cancer and has been bed written for a while. And she's not the only one. It's, it's at least three or four other tenants still living on this property that couldn't move themselves financially or otherwise. So to me, this is disgusting behavior, especially an egregious behavior by a landlord. I, I will keep you posted if I hear any more about it, but yeah, this one kind of grated my nerves because some of these people cannot, all of these people can't move themselves if, if they've been trapped in. Like how many other properties in America have been done like this? Questions, questions. I'll talk to you guys soon.